Well, we have this motto here in Key West, one human family, and I always wondered what it really means if there is such a subculture out there where people go the other way, look the other way, and yet people usually know the people that are on the streets with the substance abuse and the mental illness. Many people are not informed that there are many layers of homelessness, like families and runaway kids. You can't just send them home. Maybe there was something in their family life, like sexual abuse or physical abuse, that made them leave. They're really travelers, and yet we don't really have a spot for them, so they end up in the beach with mentally ill people or with people that have substance abuse issues. Lots of the new veterans now that are on the street they come back from wars, they thought they had fought for freedom and then they find out that it was for oil or for the wrong reasons and then they come back and they're broken, they have this post-trauma. So we spoke with many, many of people uh, when you compare the stories, but my inspiration wasn't really to rescue people, it was more to connect one human family if it's really true. What is it what makes us tick? What do we have in common? What is the common thread? Uh, everybody dreams. Everybody wants to survive. So basically I asked the, the, the street people, the homeless people, to give me something that they love, that they care about. So I collected uh, poetry, drawings, uh, music lyrics, all sorts of things. And I ended up with a big uh, pile of little snippets. And so I asked the established artist in town whether there's anything in that pile that they could resonate with. <laughs> and uh, so they created a new piece of art together and it's called the Art Heart Connection Book. And I would like to show you that now if you want to. This is a lobster trap. This is the collaboration between the homeless artist and the established artist. This poetry was written by a runaway youth and the little girl said to us, the poetry is inside her. Lisa Esposito painted the poetry inside her. I wanted to read to you my poem and tell you that uh, what I was thinking when I wrote this that night was is that uh, I was very grateful to be able to be out in nature. I use that as a way to get something out of the homeless experience to transcend and, and think of something bigger than my situation. And that's what inspired this poem. Maybe innocence will win and we will meet up with the night and the salt and the lightness in the wind. Talk about being happy and about being alive. There is nothing now except my dream and the thought of my dream. Because the moon unlocks the hidden room and I am wondering what is next to eat like cats on the Wall Street. Uh, it was uh, actually a lot of fun that a friend of mine uh, that was homeless and, and uh, we, we'd be skipping down the street together on the Wall Street and thinking about um, how much fun we were having just being with each other. So it's really a lot about friendship and how if you have a good friend you can get through anything. Earlier this year, uh Erica Biddle came to us at Digital Island Media because you heard about a production we did, uh, a short documentary about a homeless fellow that I had met about six years ago and decided to uh, explore life with. We made a video, uh, it's called Buzz, that was his name that he goes by, he writes on uh, stumps and rocks and things all over town. I felt like here was a fellow that needed some attention. Um, why not shoot someone who is homeless? Why not spend the day with him? Why not treat him like I treat anyone else? And I learned a lot about him, I learned a lot about homeless, and we were very happy to give that video to Erica to put in this show. It worked perfectly. We're uh, really proud to see the turnout here, and i um, very happy to work with Erica, and I think she did a great job on this whole um, exhibition. Hi, my name's Shil, I'm a professional photographer, and this is a part of my exhibit that I contributed to Erica Biddle towards this homeless project, which I uh, come aboard about three months ago during the summer. Uh, Erica asked me to help out to doc do the documentation for this, uh, for this show. Basically, it's to draw awareness to the homeless situation in Key West. I felt strongly about this, and that's why I come aboard, because um, these people, I've been on the island for 20 years, 
and the people in these photographs, I know, or if I didn't know them by name, I saw them pretty much on a day-to-day basis. And with that, when Erica asked me to come aboard and be a part of this, I felt already, I was already aboard, but I didn't know it, because I was walking by these people uh, pretty much every day. So with that, I decided to do this project, and um, I got to know quite a, quite a few of these people on a personal level, and they really touched me deep inside, and uh, I think and I believe it comes through on the photographs. So, um, so yeah, yeah, the people that are in these photographs, they're real people, okay? They're not, they're not statistics on the street. They're not all uh, dysfunctional, as we all think. We put, we, uh, I think we tend to, and I did before, we used to categorize people like this, and uh, I'm getting away from that, from that, and I'm, I'm realizing that these are real people, and they have souls like the rest of us, and if I can do anything to help uh, get these people off the street or get their needs met so they don't have to go through this then I think it's been worthwhile and hopefully this project or this uh, this uh, exhibit tonight uh, shows that. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you.